What if I was to give you a task to output the sentence, Patrick Henry said, give me liberty or give me death in 1775. The important part of the task is getting the quotes to appear around give me liberty or give me death. Go ahead and pause the video and see if you can output this sentence just the way it's printed out on the screen right now. The task seems simple, but it's actually a challenge or next to impossible if you do not know about escape sequences. The problem is double quotes indicate string literals and they're already being used inside of Java for a specific purpose. So these quotes around give or these quotes after death are not going to act in the same way that we would expect and it would give us an error. What they would actually look like is more like this. Patrick Henry said would be its own string literal and then give me liberty or give me death would all be individual variables that the computer was looking for that have not been created. And then the other string literal would start right here and say in 1775. So you can see that we obviously have an issue here. We need something to say, hey, these are not really string literals that we're doing. I really want the double quote to print out on the screen. And that's where the escape sequence comes in. But before we talk about the escape sequence, what I want to talk about are backslashes versus forward slashes. People get confused with these, but an easy way to remember is what way is the top of the slash falling? If it's falling backwards, it's a backslash. And if it's falling forwards, it's a forward slash. So when we say backslash, make sure that you're using the correct symbol on the keyboard. And you would put a backslash in front of the quote in front of give and a backslash in front of the quote after death. Escape sequences will always start with a backslash. So now that we have a backslash in both places, the computer is going to know not to treat the quotes as string literal quotes, but rather as I literally want quotes on the screen. And we get the desired output. Patrick Henry said, quote, give me liberty or give me death, end quote, in 1775. Another task that I'd like you to try is taking the sentence below. The file is located at c colon backslash my files backslash my doc dot doc and outputting that to the screen. Go ahead and pause the video and see if you can get this to appear on your screen. If we tried to do this using just single backslashes, we would get an error and it would probably say something about illegal escape sequences. Because we learned from the last example that escape sequences always start with backslashes. Just like quotes have a purpose in Java, so do backslashes. Backslashes indicate escape sequences. If we want one backslash, we're going to have to incorporate two into our code. So for every two we put on, one is going to appear. The first backslash is going to indicate an escape sequence. The second one is indicating what type of escape sequence we're using, or the character that's being escaped, which is a backslash. The next escape sequence that we're going to talk about is the backslash n. And what the backslash n does is it creates a new line. So I've put one after the file is located at. And you'll see when it outputs, it treats it almost like another system out print line is right here inside of the code. So we see the file is located at on one line, and then the next line says C colon my files, my doc dot doc. And it's a very useful tool if you want to go to the next line without having to type an entire new system out print line. A common error with escape sequences is to put them outside of quotes. Escape sequences can only exist inside of quotes. And so this would produce an error. We're trying to say, I want an empty line before and an empty line after this sentence. But because it's not part of the quotes, it would produce an error. We've remedied this by putting the backslash n inside of quotes in this system out print line statement. So when we print it out, we would get an empty line. The file is located at c colon blah 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 and an empty line afterwards. And the empty lines are created by the backslash n and the other backslash n. Now I've also demonstrated another common issue with escape sequences. And it might not be obvious. There's an extra space before the t in the. And the reason is, is it's literally going to put that space there between the backslash n and the. And while it might not look correct, and it might look like the n is part of the t, it is not going to add that extra space, and all of this will be lined up. So when using escape sequences, make sure that you don't add extra unwanted spaces in the code. 
Another thing that you can do with escape sequences is to use more than one at a time. I've put two backslash ends inside of here, and it's going to create two empty lines and then print out the file is located at C, blah, blah, blah. So with escape sequences, you can put one on top of the other without an issue. In this example, we're using the backslash T, which when it prints out, it's pretty obvious what it does. It acts as a tab, and so it's creating a tab space between each of the words. And so I have the words name, age, and date. There's a tab space between each word. The last escape sequence that we're going to look at is backslash R. It's kind of an odd escape sequence. And what it's going to do is it's going to move the cursor to the beginning of the string. So when I print out something like, I like this, backslash R, no start over, it's only going to print out no start over. So it's like beginning the string over again and it's going to overwrite what is already there. And not overwrite in the sense that it's going to print one on top of the other, it's going to erase the other and put the new thing there. So no start over is going to be replacing I like this. Escape sequences are important in Java and they're a way to use symbols that are already being used in Java. We've seen this with quotes and backslash. Quotes are normally used for string literals, but when we want to print them out, they must be used in conjunction with an escape sequence. And the same is true for a backslash. Backslashes are already being used for escape sequences. If we want one backslash, we have to have two backslashes. The first indicating that it's an escape sequence, the second indicating what character is going to print out. Another use for escape sequences are to stop code and perform a task, like new line, tab, and carriage return. New line we did with backslash n, tab we did with backslash t, and carriage return we did with backslash r. Carriage return is just when you're starting over at the beginning of the line or the beginning of the string. All escape sequences must be contained in quotes. They cannot sit by themselves and perform their proper function. And lastly, they will always start with a backslash. Remember, the top of the backslash is always falling backwards, not falling forwards. Escape sequences are an important part of Java, and they're especially important if you're trying to print out a quote or a backslash. Because if you're not aware of them, you're going to get unexpected results and not get the output that you desire.